teachers and school children, parents and guardians. Ladies and gentlemen, Bula Binaka and a very good morning to you all. I'm delighted to be here today in Wenimbuka in Teilebu at Nayala High School to officially open this new classroom building as part of our Saclone, Saclone Winston Rehabilitation Program so that your students can put the trauma of the cyclone behind them and get back to the business of learning. Today kicks off my tour of schools that we have successfully upgraded and rebuilt following the destruction caused by tropical cyclone Winston last year. The strongest cyclone to ever make landfall in our hemisphere. Today, I'm opening this classroom block at Nayala and this afternoon, I will do the same at the Nailanga District School. Tomorrow, I will opening, I will, sorry, tomorrow uh, and the rest of the week, I will be opening 17 new classroom buildings. 17 new classroom buildings that we've rebuilt and upgraded at the Dombuy Lebu Muslim School, the Taya Primary School, and the Nasayani Primary School. None of these school projects are not simple rebuilds. These schools have all been reconstructed to a far higher standard worthy of the students who rely on them and more resilient to the severe effects of climate change. And this reopening of Nayala High School represents an investment of over $340,000 by my government to bring it to a climate resilient level of construction. When Imbuka saw the full brunt of the destructive force of Cyclone Winston last year, and the students of Nayala, along with countless other young people throughout our islands, were on the front lines of the brutal winds and torrential rains that devastated vast stretches of Fiji. So I know I don't need to remind anyone here of the heartbreak and misery that the cyclone brought to our shores because your community experienced that firsthand. As I, in the wake of the cyclone, I was in the villages and communities all over Fiji leading relief teams and assessing the extent of the damage and destruction. It was a trying time for the Fijian people as we mourned those who lost, we lost to the storm and began to pick up the pieces of communities that had been brought to their knees. But even in the midst of that suffering and tragedy, I could still see the resilience of the Fijian spirit was undiminished. I saw it in the smiles and optimism on the faces of affected Fijians some of whom had lost everything. We knew it would take time to rebuild all the homes, the schools and other infrastructure that were washed away because we needed to get right on the first go. We, need, we had to build back better because building the same standard as before would spell disaster for Fiji when the next cyclone reached our shores. Because the experts have already warned us that storms like Winston are only going to become more frequent and more severe due to the catastrophic effects of climate change. The reality is there is considerable work to be done to prepare ourselves for what is to come. 90%, 95% of the schools we are rebuilding from Cyclone Winston were built with no structurally approved plans, leaving our students vulnerable to climate-related catastrophe. We can't afford to rebuild to that standard because to do so would stick us in a costly cycle of rebuilding year after year and put the lives of our students at risk. I'm not prepared to let that happen. My government is not just rebuilding. We are building back better. Every school we could reconstruct is being built to code to withstand severe weather events. Yes, it has taken time, but yes, it is well worth it. Still, even though we know storms like Winston are only going to get worse, many do not share our vision for a more resilient Fiji. They only think short term and want us to rush this process along. But that would compromise the safety and security of our children and ordinary Fijian. That is not responsible and that is not true leadership. My government isn't taking the easy road. We are not hurrying up to put up schools that will only stand for a year or for a single term in office. We are building a Fiji that will last. Schools that will stand for generations and homes that can be dependent on to keep our people sheltered 
an infrastructure that can be relied upon in terms of crisis. We are making steady and unrelenting progress towards that goal and we have a clear game plan for building back Fiji better than it was. This financial year, we have seen enormous resources poured into our rebuilding effort and we have already completed the vast majority of groundwork to reconstruct many of our schools. Some of that work has been carried over into the incoming financial year where we will allocated another $170 million towards the reconstructions of school alone. Our rebuild has also seen unprecedented, unprecedented collaboration with the private sector, including the Fiji Institution of Engineers, who I like to thank personally for carrying out assessment work for our schools pro bono, which is free of charge, and for assisting with our adopt a school program. On behalf of a grateful nation, to the Fiji Institution of Engineers. So, Kerem, in the moment, don't have to solve. I would also like to acknowledge our dedicated staff at the Construction and Implementation Unit in the Ministry of Economy, headed by Shah Mohammed, for bringing a new level of professionalism to government's construction work, in particular for our rebuild program. We've also borrowed to complement our own allocations toward the rebuild. And I'd like to thank the World Bank and the ADB for partnering with us to help in our rebuilding effort. Any honest economist can tell you that our financial strategy to help get our nation back on its feet is sound. Because we are borrowing to build and to set up resilient infrastructure that drives economic activity and schools that prepare the next generation to succeed. We are investing in the potential of the Fijian people and that is proven to grow our economy and set us up for even greater prosperity. We are committed to quality construction and getting the best possible returns on every dollar we build, we uh, protect Fijian taxpayers from the far higher cost of having to build in the future. In total, the construction and implementation unit has completed 20 schools that sustained major damage in the cyclone with work underway on 148 others, many of which will be completed soon. And we've also, through the Ministry of Education, completed minor repair works on 143 schools, with 175 currently being completed. Ladies and gentlemen, the facts are clear, severe storms on the, on the horizon and we need to be ready. We don't have time to humor the ignorance and political point scoring of the opposition, nor the false narratives being peddled by others in the media on the pace of the rebuild. Progress is being made, real progress, not temporary fixes. And I'm very proud of that as part of the effort. We've completed the construction on this new classroom building at the Nayala High School, making your school more resilient to severe weather and more capable of serving your students. Today, your community truly has something to celebrate, as this project marks a big step forward for our effort to build back better. And the completion of this new school block sent a strong message to your students that we care about their success and are prepared to invest their futures. Our work across Fiji is far from finished and it will not stop until every affected Fijian family and household is able to have their own way of celebration and begin putting the memories of Winston's devastation behind them. My government will not rest until that day arrives.